Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a student um, getting my degree in doctorate in physical therapy. I chose this major because I enjoy helping people. I've had therapy myself in the past. Um, thought it'd be a great field if you like being up on your feet working with people. Eventually with this degree, I want to go on to work with neuro patients, spinal cord injury, and brain injury patients to help them get back into a functional daily life, back in their normal lives. If you're considering going into physical therapy, um, some of the best courses or undergraduate degrees you can take are exercise physiology or athletic training. I took the exercise science route with an emphasis on PT so that you can get your um, recommended prerequisite courses to get accepted into the program. Um, when you're in a doctorate of physical therapy program, you take a lot of science classes that include anatomy, physiology, really focus on the human body, how it works, and then you also take classes on um, a couple psychology classes and then also some research classes because my program you have to do a research project by the end of your um, third by the end of your third year there so that you can have your doctorate degree um, before graduation you have the opportunity to spend a year out in the field working in four different settings to help you determine what you want to do once you graduate with your degree. Physical therapy has a wide variety of settings you can work in. During my last final year of um, clinical rotations I've done one in an acute care setting where I worked with um, a little bit of the sicker population, post-op patients, see them one or two days and then get them to go home. I've worked in a long-term rehab facility where I work with neurological patients for three or four months. And I've also worked in an outpatient orthopedic setting where I do a little bit of the more sports injury, musculoskeletal, sprained ankles, torn knee um, injuries. My favorite part about being in this major and eventually doing this career is helping people get back to the things they love doing. So any type of injury I've seen, shoulders, knees, I've seen neurological spinal cord injury patients, and I've helped them train them and get their bodies ready to do the sports, the daily activities, hanging out with their friends, all of those activities so that they can enjoy life and increase their quality of life. So some roadblocks you might run into while doing this field is this field is very competitive. It's a very, very competitive and hard program to get into. The majority of schools will have um, 200, 300 plus applicants and each program is probably only going to accept anywhere from 30 to 50 students. Um, once you're in though, the hardest part about this thing is the devotion and study time. It's not a go to class, come home, and relax on your afternoons off. You're in class 8 to 5. When you get off at 5, you're going to the library to study and prepare for your exams. Exams consist of written exams, but you also have hands-on practical applications. First day of school, you're thrown into a classroom with your classmates that you've met maybe the day before, and you're asked to learn how to palpate muscles, bony structures, so you have to be very, very comfortable with yourself and very, very comfortable touching other patients because that's the hard thing to be comfortable doing is putting patients in pain. So you have to be very comfortable with others. One thing, one advice I wish someone would have told me is to be a little bit more prepared for when you're doing your undergrad. Sit down, focus, and learn what you need to learn in undergrad so that you can have a better GPA, give yourself a better chance of getting into the schools, but also with GPA, be a little bit more prepared of what the requirements for the schools you're looking into are, whether it's a certain amount of volunteer hours or a certain amount of observational hours in different settings. You want to know, you want to be prepared and have s s all of your ducks in a row so that when you do apply, you stand out a little bit more than the other applicants that you're going against. If you're seriously considering doing physical therapy, the best way to be prepared, whether you're in high school, undergraduate level, throw yourself in the field. Go talk to different clinics, see if you can do some observational hours, see if you can do some volunteer, see if they're hiring a tech. And don't just assume that physical therapy is only outpatient orthopedics, sports injuries. Go to hospitals. 
go to um, rehab facilities so that you can have a wide variety and so that you know exactly what you're looking for when you get out into the field because there's so much physical therapy can do and it'll help you kind of guide your, your learning and guide what you want to focus on when you're in school.